Good evening, my friends. Or should I say, what up, peeps? I was actually thinking about using that as like a slogan. I was like, do I have a slogan for my channel that I could put on shirts or something? But 15 minute free thinking's all right, but what up, peeps, maybe? Be kind of cool. I don't know. Just a thought off the top of my head. Because I'm always thinking about random shit. And it's funny how I always introduce myself a certain way. And that goes along the lines of what I'm going to talk about is how I'm portrayed how I portray myself, how I'm viewed by other people, and how, for example, if you're going to have a YouTube channel with, you know, 10 years worth, over 4,000 videos, you're going to have to build up a thick skin. Now, I've found myself in the past naturally entertaining debates or arguments with people because the point is to get to the bottom of why people think what they think. The bigger issue with debates and arguments is, do you care about the topic itself, or do you care about how you are viewed because of what you think about the topic. Let me rephrase that. It would be more of virtue signaling versus actually trying to learn. Because plenty of people out there want to learn about why people think the way they think, uh, why a thing works the way it works. We might have a misconception about a, a scientific endeavor or a paper, or maybe it's something about you know, climate change itself, or maybe misinformation about, you know, from the tobacco industry, whatever it might be, that we think, okay, in order to get to the bottom of these things, we talk about them. And <clears throat> usually the subject, at least in the past, would just be the subject. A good debate would just be about the topic itself. But it would rarely come to the point of ad hominem attacks or personal blows to people. But when folks feel cornered, they often resort to personal attacks on others rather than discussing the actual topic. But I think what happens is, and this is why this ties into how we're perceived by others, we give a shit too much what others think. Not just about us, but about what we know. If we find ourselves not knowing something. I'm sure every one of you out there has had an experience where you believed something and you were wrong. And you had to admit to yourself, okay, I was wrong. Sure, we can do it, but it's painful at times, especially if it's something we believed for a very long time. And more often than not, we're willing to just not change our minds because we want to believe it so bad. And this happens regularly in many different facets of life, but <clears throat> I think that one of the keys to avoiding this is to just stop giving a shit what other people think about you. But, and this is the important but, it doesn't mean we stop giving a shit whatever anyone thinks of us. I once heard someone say that, uh, for example, if you're famous, or if you're a musician, or a famous artist, or a movie star or something, or a politician, somebody will always hate you. No matter who you are. Some people hate others just for being who they are. Some people hate others just for the fact that they have uh, the power that they do. Or the amount of money that they do. Not for any of their characteristics other than that. In, in my personal life, I've even had people who said they hated me because too many people listened to what I had to say. And they didn't like what I had to say at the time. Which, you know, to each his own. At any rate... Life, life is interesting like that, because we're always going to have somebody who's a critic, for example, right? And the thing that we learn, the most important thing that we learn, is that we are always our own worst critic. It's like unavoidable. Every time we find that we put ourselves down more than anyone else does. And I don't know if you share this, but I've, most people I've talked to, and from what I've read in psychological journals, because all we can get is self-reported thoughts, because people, the way we people, feel. But there's like a persecutory complex we have. For some people, they have delusions. They think everyone's out to get them. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about feeling awkward when you're out in public, maybe. Or kind of a social awkwardness. A little social phobia, which some people take to th think that they're an outcast. But you're really not. You're just like everyone else. That's why people dress up the way they do. That's why people do their hair. That's why people decorate themselves and peacock for each other. Some people have definitely given up and just don't care anymore. 
But uh, for the most part, people give a shit because they do care what people think about them. And that's why it does matter. It only matters for two reasons, in my opinion. It matters because you want those that you love, your loved ones, your friends and family, to respect you. And if you don't have respect for who you are and your opinions and your ideals and your personality, then you feel like you're doing something wrong. And so we tend to put ourselves down. Now, sometimes it just doesn't work out. I've had plenty of friendships and relationships that just didn't work out. You know, you just part ways and you don't talk to people anymore. It's just fine. It's what happens. But that's a lot harder when you want, when you, there are certain connections you have with other people, you want to maintain that. So you do want friends and family to respect you and your views. Now, also, on the other side of this, you also want people to, like, complete strangers to at least see you for who you are. And this is why we wear certain clothes. This is why we dress the way we do. This is why I'm wearing these absolutely absurd hippie pants, for example. Yeah, I mean, I, it's so funny. As I was going to pick up my kid from school, this little girl just stopped walking and just went... With this look on her face, she must have been like three, you know, and she just stared at my pants as I walked by. It was really funny. Um, because... I, I like to be known as that hippie guy, right? Because that's just part of who I am. I, you know, it's okay. Um, I'm not the peaceful, peace-loving hippie guy, but I want peace, world peace, but I'm, uh, I can be aggro when I need to be, and I can stand up for myself. In other words, I have no problem telling somebody to go fuck themselves if they, you know, want to try to push my buttons or something because it's not worth my time. And that's maybe the lesson I'm trying to convey here without rambling too much. You have to be able to take these things on the chin if people don't agree with you, not take it personal. If a topic comes up that you disagree with someone on, don't virtue signal or think that you're superior. And this, I think, perfect for to address that while I'm on that topic. You know, I think this is why so many people are so frustrated about these movements towards racial justice, let's say, uh, or or you know, rights for, you know, people to have be called what they want or have different, you know, sexual orientations, whatever it might be. Because people feel like they are forced into something, forced into a compliance, but the argument is that they can't make an argument. They're not allowed to discuss anything about it without them instantly being labeled as a certain type of person, a transphobe or a, you know, racist, whatever it might be. When people feel like they can't talk about issues without being labeled instantly by somebody who's virtue signaling, that angers people. And that's not just a conservative thing. I mean, I know plenty of liberals who are just disgusted with the modern day kind of neoliberal attitude that people have. But uh, that's for, you know, another story altogether. Sorry, I keep kind of getting distracted. As you notice, I'm like glancing over there. I'm looking at my... Uh, my security camera system, and I'm watching car drive by slowly a couple times, paranoid, because we had, our neighbors had somebody with a shopping cart going through their shit in both of their houses. I just made a video about th theft and, and thieves and people who steal, and uh, I'd have no problem putting a lead pipe over somebody if they come up to my door like that. But uh, anyway, <laughs> another topic altogether. I just wanted to really, when I make a video like this, my intention, even after rambling for eight and a half minutes, is for a lot of the young men out there who I know are struggling to self-identify, to figure out their rites of passage, who they are, and they get sucked into these different groups, groupthink. It's the reason I criticized, like Jordan Peterson, a couple of years back. I love a lot of what he says. I agree with 90% of what he says, I, maybe more. But I don't buy into the types of people that gravitate towards that because they use that as a way to kind of divide themselves, if that makes sense. So, at any rate, that's all I've got for today, and I appreciate you coming along. Let me know what you think about all this stuff, and um, I'll be sure to make a companion video to this one down the road. This is a, a, an interesting topic. When you learn to let shit go, and you don't let people's opinions get to you, and you don't let... Uh, people's, you'll find that when people want to point the finger at you and they want to push your buttons or find some fault in your, you know, as they would say, a chink in your armor. But it's funny, I said that before and I thought, is that racist now? 
it's a joke, but um, they want to find that weak spot because it makes them feel better about themselves. So if a person's, for example, losing an argument or a discussion, or they have nothing to talk about, and they feel slighted, then they're going to push back and use the ad hominem attack and try to make you feel like, I guess a lot of the times it would it would be the way that people um, uh, <clears throat> try to convince other people that they're the ones going going crazy. I don't know why the word is evading me right now. But uh, at, at any rate, uh, that's enough on this topic, I guess. It's just important to remember who you are and stand up for yourself and not worry about other people's thoughts. 90% of the time, if you assume people are thinking a certain thing about you, they're probably not. They don't care. I'd say 99% of the time. We have this idea that other people might be suspicious of us or think we're weird. Believe me, I've been confronted in grocery stores at a Fred Meyer down here, like several years back. I noticed a young guy was walking around following me. And I was like, are you following me? I walked up and confronted him. And he goes, yeah. He's like, I'm just making sure that nothing happens. It's like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, I'm with loss prevention. And, you know, basically told me, I'm waiting for you to steal. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I said, how dare you? I've been shopping here for over 10 years. I have three kids at home and a wife. I own a house down the street. And I've spent $10,000 at least at this store. Back the fuck off, you know? Like, this... I felt slighted because he had assumed something about me, okay? And this is why it's important not to assume anything about people, because that's what gets us into trouble. And those are my messages for the day. So take from it what you will. Leave the rest on the doorstep, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Peace out.